we played Bayern Munich really close, 3-2 loss, and then a 2-0 win. But today, Club Bruges awaits us in the Euro Cup quarterfinals. And we will do the highlights momentarily, and then we will play the second leg at home on camera in just a moment. Today's episode, we're going to have the Euro Cup quarterfinals. We'll do highlights from the away leg, and then we will watch the first leg live. We also are on the verge of a club record. Keep an eye on Robert Cernan to become the all-time single-season scoring record leader for Eintracht Frankfurt. We picked up some goals, but it was not Robert Cernan setting the record today. It was his strike partner, Aslani. Sahin with the long throw, and the keeper gets blocked out by Aslani, and he just heads it over. A deft finish, and we took a 1-0 lead. Midway through the second half, still holding on to that 1-0 advantage. Beautiful over-the-top pass, great control by Aslani, slots it home. For the nail in the coffin, a 2 0 win in the first leg, two away goals. That's very nice. And we look like we might, fingers crossed, get through this round and into the semifinals. That would be great. We'll find out when we come back for kickoff in just a second. <laughs> So as previously mentioned, we barely lost to Bayern Munich, which was a good result for us. Fala and Doyle with the goals. Kiel, we got a 2-0 win. Cernan and Abwander with the goals. Cernan got his goal in that match, 16th minute. Gave him 28 on the season, which equals the club record. Still looking for that breakthrough goal to claim that record all to himself. The 2-0 win that we just looked at, the brace by Aslani, and then between matches we did lose to Hamburger, and I'm sure that's not pronounced right, but it's spelled Hamburger. 2-1, we had to play a pretty heavily rotated squad, but, you know, we had a lot of starters in there. I mean, our back line was the same. Actually, just about everybody was the same. Jack Hunter got a start, uh, but uh, just not enough in that one. I don't know what the deal was. And we've actually lost three of our last five league matches, but we're sandwiched around a lot of Euro Cup games here. So I think these are cup letdowns more than anything else. So let's get into it today. We're going to be going with Cernan and Aslani up top. Serer, Bowden, Doyle, Kamara gets the start on the right wing over Fala. Krisnik, Abwander, Lynch, Gunderson on the back line, and... My assistant manager keeps trying to sneak him in there. We're going to go with Janderson in goal. Kamara lacking match fitness. He has not played a lot with Fala. Uh, we are going to put our hands. No, we're not going to do that. Hands in pocket. Go out there and treat this as if you're starting from scratch. That is right. All right, we are in the red and black kits. The whites of Club Bruges. Oh, over the top, and that is a tackle on Cernan just outside the box. I'm surprised he didn't get a card for that because Cernan looks like he was about to just blow past that guy and have a clear shot at goal. So I think that probably should have been a card. That's my opinion. My opinion. We do have the early highlights as Lonnie. Nice. Kamara, oh, that's not good. It's not impressing me, man. Uh, Machado cruises past Abwander, but between Abwander and Janderson, they do cut the angle, make the easy stop. But we, uh, let's demand a little bit more here. Come on, boys. All right, they're looking really good in control here. They can't break us down too easy, though. That's good. All right, I like that. Don't like that. 
another one of those things, defensive headers that don't go anywhere near a teammate. I mean, you're telling me that ball's coming towards him and he can't at least semi-direct that in a particular direction? Oh, they have got a lot of space around the edge of the box. And that one goes sailing up into the stands. And our home fans likely threw that back really quickly, I would think. We're sitting third in the table, so we are looking pretty good. I don't think we've got a shot at the league. We'll take a look at the league standings uh, in just you know after the match here. Good tackle, Krisnik. Get to it. There we go. Look at that. He headed it right to his own teammate, and he headed it backwards. Okay, we got one. <laughs> Sorer powering through he takes a crack and Zuma nudges it over the bar four shots for us two on target Bowden resets all the way back to midfield we've already met expectations in this tournament so anything that we, if we get past, we're you know we're just doing above and beyond. So it would be nice to oof. It would be nice to do that. Lynch controls it. I like that. Bowden picks out a good pass to the outside. Well, there's one over to Kamara. It's blocked in the box. Ergles, what is that? Sigurison, wow. That's a tongue twister. Sigurison. Um, let's demand more again. All right, so Rare is kind of out of it. He's playing well. Kamara blocked yet again. Abwander. Up from the back line. Bowden tracks back for that. Quit playing with the ball, fellas. Move it around. Lynch tried to get an entry pass. It's knocked away. Yeah, truck is still in the shop from yesterday's recording. Uh... I wasn't on the schedule because I wasn't expecting to have to bring it to the shop. So, uh, not surprising they weren't able to finish it. All right, Abwander. Oh, my goodness, and what a save. Wasted opportunity, the game tells us, and I would have to agree. <clears throat> that was a beautiful square. Had to like that. Good vision. Unselfish by the attacker. We can uh, we can be happy with that. So we're still holding the 2-0 aggregate advantage at half. So they need to beat us 3. Well, they need to beat us 2-0, right? To force penalties or overtime or anything else. Yeah, let's do that. Motivate them a little bit. Let's change it up. Let's encourage them this time. All right, good steal by Bowden there, liking that. Gunderson is not looking great. <clears throat> He's probably going to be the first one off. Playing a 6-4. Oh, there's a brilliant ball, and it's Cernan. It's his 29th of the season, and there is the club record. That is it. 29 goals in one campaign. Cernan, what a great run onto that ball. And if you watched right there, he backed up to stay even with that line and then just waited for the pass and then broke on it. Came in at an angle to get away from his defender, open up some space. That was a thing of beauty. As Lonnie controls it. Does anybody... Oh, Cernan was there. 
Can't pick out the pass though. It's headed away. Kamara. Can you do anything better? He gets the cross in. Serrer got a shot. Offsides, possibly. Yep, Cernan was offsides. All right, let's. Uh, I'm going to pull Gunderson off. We're going to put Sahin over there and have a wander. Let's put Kramer back there. Don't want to do that. Kamara says, says he's having a good game, but every time we've seen him, right? It, yeah, let's put Kramer in. Don't usually sub out my center backs. You know, I usually let them play the whole game, but he is on a yellow. So we'll uh, we'll make that switch. There's Sahin. Oh, look at that cut inside, and then just too much dribbling, almost lost it. Oh, Cernan, beautiful play down. Couldn't get the shot off there. I think that was Aslani. Let's praise him. Now we're up 3-0 on aggregate. Oh, a header just goes over. We'll call that lucky. Krisnik, short throw. The rare. And they've got a counter opportunity here. Quick outlet pass to Machado. Beats Kramer. Oh, big sliding tackle by Kramer to knock it away. It goes out for a throw in, but that was a good recovery by Kramer. You remember Kramer when we signed him? We thought he was going to be uh, be our starter, but we've, we've picked up a couple of guys. Oh, there's a beautiful through ball. Cernan slots it home. That's number 30. He's got a brace and stretches our lead to 2-0. 4-0 on aggregate. That's got to be the icing on the cake. 30 goals. I don't know how long it's been since I've had a 30-goal striker. Wow, I am really happy with his performance, man. And the fact that I'm, you know, that, that I'm picking him out over the assistant manager uh, this season, last season. Oh, and he was just on sides. That was brilliant. Asimo kept him on sides. All right, let's. Uh, we've got a couple of dead guys. Bowden, Serrer. You know what? Do I give? Do I give the youngster Ruben Lopez? He's not the paciest, but he's pretty solid. Good first touch, good passing, really good mentals. You know what? Let's put him on for Bowden. We'll give him his debut in a cup semifinal. How do you like that? He's got to be ecstatic. I don't know if his parents made the game. Hopefully they're at least watching it. You know, I could picture him, you know, calling him up, Mom, Dad, you know. Uh, I'm, I made the I made the travel squad for today, you know. Probably won't play, but you know I'll be there. I'll be I'll be on the sideline, and here he is, just another minute away from advancing. Oh, good save by Janderson. They'll get the corner from that. Fifty-seven percent possession for us today. Very very happy with that. 1.89 to 0.92 on the XG. There's the final whistle. We get another 2-0 clean sheet. 4-0 on aggregate. Cernan plays an 8. Everybody looks pretty good. Lopez gets a 6-7 on his debut. Did a nice job managing the tie. Very happy. And we win the quarterfinal. We get 1.76 million for that. That was a good thing. Let me see if I can find that email back here. Right here, profit. Check this out. So we've talked in previous seasons here. Uh, maybe Well, previous season, last year probably. Every club in the Bundesliga loses money. There's a total of 1.58 billion in losses. 87.86 million per club. And we're just over that with 89.69 million in losses. Leipzig, 185 million in the red. Schalke, surprisingly, 
25 million in the red the most profit the, the, the most least the best least profitable club in the Bundesliga that's crazy and you know this it's stuff like this that you know when you see fans clamoring for oh we need to sign more players and you know drop a hundred million here this is real life numbers a lot of clubs lose money and you know just takes big pockets and you know nobody's nobody runs a business and and these clubs are a business nobody runs a business to lose money and uh you know i don't think you know you certainly don't run your own household to lose money right but you know i guess that's the the interesting part of the sport all right let's get in and see so we're going to be playing burnley all right that's good so let's check that schedule so it looks like Burnley got through, and they did. So, hmm, I think what we're gonna do. I don't. I don't think we need to watch Leverkusen. I don't know. Let's think about it. All right. So we're into the semifinals. They wanted us to reach the quarterfinals, so they're happy there. They wanted us to reach the quarterfinals. We got knocked out in the third round, so they were unhappy there. We're in third position. We were only supposed to be in the top half, which is ninth. So we're 15 points clear. Right? That's good. How many games we got left to play? We have five. So that's 15 points. So the worst we can finish now is mid-table. So that's good. But it would be very nice to finish in the top four here. But there's a log jam. We do have goal differential over Dortmund and Borussia Mönchengladbach for now, but we still need wins, and we've lost three of our last five, as I mentioned. We could probably we could catch Leipzig, could. And what are we looking at money wise? Oh yeah, don't forget we picked up the uh, group stage level here. Or no, was that my other save? Uh, probably my other save. I think it was my other save for the Netherlands. Anyway, so we're looking somewhere 131. That would be awesome. And we'd certainly like to stay in the top four. Certainly stay in the top four. Now, if we can win the Euro Cup, we get silverware and an automatic berth. So then it doesn't matter where we finish, but we need the money. Taking a look at club finances, we are back down in the red, 3.8 million. Uh, we have lost 75 million this season, and you can see we're already almost a million in the hole for this month. We lost uh, 961,000 last month. Most of it is on bonuses and player salaries. Staff salaries aren't that bad; only a half a million dollars. So there's not a whole lot in there. 438,000 on match day. 486 in taxes so you know there's a million dollars right there boom but um, yeah so I think what we're gonna do is come back next episode we'll do the uh, highlights from the Burnley first leg play out the second leg and then depending on where we're at in the season we may that may be the last episode for this year because we've had a couple of extra episodes with this cup run and then we'll come back for the season finale for the season review, show you guys the last couple of games, get into transfers, and move into next year. Oh, by the way, you, and I've told you guys this, a lot of times when there's a week or two weeks uh, between matches, I'll go on vacation. And I usually do it in chunks of like five to seven days, uh, you know, so I can come back, look at emails, take care of any business that needs taking care of. But this is points where games are not going on, where I'm not missing any games. And it inevitably happens that a contract offer or something gets slipped in that the game doesn't stop and force you to respond to it. There are some things that you get that must respond. I don't know why a contract would not be in that category. So we have signed, obviously, while I was on vacation, somebody forged my name to it. Uh, we have signed a four-year extension uh, for $276,000 a month. So not hurting for money now, but we do sign a four-year deal, which means if we want to leave, I'm going to end up having to resign. 
And that was one reason I like to keep my contracts year to year or, you know, whatever we're doing uh, in this particular save, because as, you know, as Bielsa goes, he could leave at any time. And we showed that leaving and coming to Frankfurt's, right? So uh, didn't want a multi-year deal like that, but is what it is. It's not going to stop us from making a move if we want to. Uh, it'll just, uh, you know, we'll have to resign and then, you know, go into it that way. So we'll see you guys for the semifinal of the Euro Cup next episode. Thanks all again. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up with daily FM content. Talk to you later. Bye.